Hi, I'm Linda Riando and I'm one of the volunteers here at the Lake Lure Flower and Bridge. When my husband and I retired, we moved to this area of North Carolina and we had visited the Flowering Bridge and I just thought it was one of the most beautiful places I'd ever been to and I wanted to get involved, help out, whatever they wanted me to do, I was happy to do it. The Lake Lure Flowering Bridge is a repurposed bridge. It used to be the main thoroughfare going from the east to the west and when the state of North Carolina was going to decommission the bridge to build a new one, one of the citizens in the town thought how lovely would it be to make a pedestrian flowering bridge and so he took the idea to the city council and after a lot of discussion and getting a lot of people on board they made that happen and it was officially dedicated in 2013 so we're coming up next year will be our 10 year anniversary. During the time they were planning the flowering bridge, we did use structural engineers to make sure everything would be safe for people to walk on. And we also had landscape architects which helped with the original design of the gardens. So as the year goes on, we change out the garden, flowers and decorations with seasonal themes. We do a big Christmas theme, we have tulips in the spring, we do pumpkins in the fall. So it doesn't really matter what time of year you come to the garden, there's always something different, there's always different flowers in bloom, and it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I think what draws people to the Lake Lure Flowering Bridge is the fact that you can come and you can stay for a half an hour or you can come and stay all day long 365 days a year 24 hours a day and it's always free but another thing is most of our gardens are wheelchair accessible we have an audio and sensory tour that is available for those who are hearing impaired and we have a lot of kind of touchy-feely things that the children absolutely love. So please come and visit us. I think you'll really enjoy it. The bridge is 100% funded by donations and grants that we have applied for, and we have over 40 volunteers who do all of the garden work. You can help support the Flowering Bridge by becoming a volunteer or donating at lakelureflowerbridge.org